From Washington, this is VOA News. Coming up, protesters remain in sending camps in Cairo, U.S. eyeing competition with Europe for Africa trade. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Norman. Egypt's military-backed interim government is extending the detention of former President Mohamed Morsi by 15 days to investigate allegations that the Palestinian militant group Hamas helped him and other Islamists to break out of prisons during Egypt's 2011 revolution. Morsi supporters remained in two sitting camps in Cairo despite threats that they will be thrown out. This is one of the pro-Morsi demonstrators speaking through an interpreter. The people here at the sit-in could face an attack at any moment, but the demonstrators have one aim. They came prepared to die in defense of freedom and in defense of the return of legitimacy and in defense and the protection of Egypt from the military and state security. Interim government officials have warned for days of imminent action to break up the sit-ins. Mali presidential candidate Sumela Sisi conceded defeat and congratulated his rival Ibrahim Boubacar Keita on his election on Sunday. Provisional election results were expected on Wednesday. Major international ivory trafficker believed to have dealt in tusk of thousands of elephants over a four-decade career was arrested in Togo. Emil Mbuk and a Guinean associate are two of 900 traffickers so far who have been arrested in a crackdown on poachers. The défi is encore grand. Il y a encore du travail à faire. Togo's wildlife chief said the country has porous borders which allows people to come and go, including those, including those who have trafficked in endangered animal products. United States keeping a close watch on potential European trade deals with African nations as Washington reviews its own preferential trade initiative with the continent. VOA's Gabe Joslow reports African ministers and U.S. officials discuss trade relations at a forum Monday in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. The U.S. is considering an extension to the popular African Growth and Opportunity Act, known as AGOA, an American law that allows sub-Saharan African countries to export certain products to the United States duty-free. U.S. Trade Representative Michael Froman has been meeting with African ministers at an AGOA forum in Addis Ababa to work through the details of a new deal. In a conference call with reporters Monday, Froman said one of the big questions is about the impact of African trade talks with the European Union. In 2012, trade between AGOA countries and the United States was worth about $67 billion, most of it in the form of oil and natural gas exports to the U.S. Gabe Jocelyn, VOA News, Nairobi. You know, Secretary of State John Kerry is pledging American support for Colombia's efforts to end five decades of conflict with FARC rebels in what remains Latin America's longest-running insurgency. Secretary Kerry met Monday in Bogota with Colombian officials who are negotiating the, with the rebels to try to find peace for the first time since 1964. We will do everything possible that we can do to try to be helpful, to support this program and other programs, and ultimately to try to help bring peace. Mr. Kerry is on his first trip to South America since becoming Secretary of State earlier this year. Medical charity Doctors Without Borders has launched a new vaccination campaign against pneumonia in the Yida refugee camp in South Sudan. Children in refugee camps are highly vulnerable to disease because they are often malnourished and living in overcrowded conditions. Dr. Christopher Mambula, the group's medical coordinator for South Sudan, said it has made major strides in rolling out new vaccines in South Sudan for the children in Yida camp, and this should be 
lead to a substantial cut in the number of deaths. The impact that we expect is uh, a reduction in uh, morbidity and mortality linked to lower respiratory tract infections. Um, chest infections in children under the age of five and more especially for children that are younger, between one and two years or less than the age of two, uh, they have a significant, uh, significantly more uh, mortality related to uh, chest infections. Doctors Without Borders says many children living in South Sudanese refugee camps have died needlessly because of bureaucratic delays rolling out new vaccines. And financially struggling smartphone maker BlackBerry says it is up for sale.